Что, он зарядился, что ли? Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back. It is fight day today. I am in Moscow, Russia for Zabit Magomed Sharipov versus Calvin Keita. An amazing main event. It's a bummer. It's three rounds, not five. But it's understandable considering the late notice step up from co-main to main. Um, Greg Hardy steps in on the co-main event after JDS pulled out. We'll see how he deals with the step up in competition against Alexander Volkov. Some very good Russian prospects on the card. The likes of Roman Kopilov, uh, Shamzan Gamzatov. Khabib Nurmagomedov's cousin Abu Bakar Nurmagomedov we'll see how he fares in his UFC debut he's a bit fortunate to be lower on the card he's not on the main card he's on the prelims some noteworthy North American European fighters like David Grant Dan Hot Chocolate Roberts Anthony Rocco Martin Ed Herman Roosevelt Roberts some really good fighters on the card a very underrated card I'm expecting a lot of wars mainly because of the toughness of these Russians not a lot of them get stopped but another thing as well loads of these Russian fighters when they do fight they gas so I'm, I'm expecting that to happen as well Jessica Clark returns she hasn't fought in a year against Kine Pinzad should be a very very good night of fights I arrived yesterday but I ended up in a queue for the Q&A and the uh, weigh-ins and I missed the entire Q&A because of it because uh, I arrived on time but unfortunately the queues were mad there was no order at all it took very long to get processed by security i'm going to make sure to get there on time today so i don't i'm not involved in that hassle again but it should be a very good night of fights i'm looking forward to it um i've just i'm going to go out um explore moscow see how it is it's a very beautiful beautiful city from what i've seen so far very quiet everyone seems to mind their own business it might be because i'm in a touristy part of moscow but it's a very beautiful city man very clean very nice feels very safe as well i haven't felt any sort of danger since i've been i was walking around last night as well but i'm gonna go and explore and then head off straight to the fight so come and join me and we'll see how it goes so i finally arrived at the arena and i've arrived super early the, uh, the security checkpoints that you can see behind me aren't even open but I'm just going to chill for a bit because I do not want to miss a fight I don't want to repeat of what happened yesterday missing the q and A. I want to be there on time watch the first fight to the last fight promises to be a very good night of fights one thing to know there ain't no room to fuck about over here yeah? see them vans behind me that's where the police headquarters are so you do anything stupid around here you get nicked quickly boom you're done so I'm just going to chill for a bit and then we'll go inside <laughs> First fight of the night, here we go, David Grant versus Grigory Popov. Your winner by split decision, Dangerous David Grant! Man, that was a good fight, Pani Kianza, Jessica Rose Clark. I give the advantage to Pani, man. She kept landing through the exchanges, more precise, more accurate, landed more damage as well. I think Panny wins this. Your winner by unanimous decision, Panny Bonzo Kianza! <laughs> that was a good fight, very hard to judge. I see it being a 29 28 to either one of them. I can't see who though. I wasn't really trying to score it. Judges scorecards, all three judges score this contest 29 28. Your winner by unanimous decision, Roosevelt, the Predator Roberts! I told you it'll be a 29 28 to either one of them. I told you. Crowd's not happy because the Russian guy lost. Mad. Oh, he's going in the triangle, he's pulling the arm. Oh, he tucked. Wow, David Zawada defeats uh, Abu Bakr and Magomedov by Armbar. First round. Oh, the crowd's gone quiet. Mad. Oi, that was a beautiful leg kick. Oh my god. 
Nogi! Another one, oh my. Those are heavy. Man, that was a good second round. Carl Robertson, man, he landed so many flush leg kicks. He's compromised that right lead leg. Uh, Kopilo. My days. But Kopilo has landed flush a few times as well, man, with that left hand straight left down the middle. It's caught him a couple of times. Interesting third round ahead. He's under the neck, he's climbed him out. He's, he's, oh, there you go. Over. It's a great fight, great fight. What a fight, what a performance by uh, Carl Robertson. What, what a fight, what a fight, very good fight. That eye poke kind of compromised him, but took him down, took his back, flattened him out, choked him out. That was a very good performance by Carl Robertson. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Front kick to the face! Oh! Oh! Magomed Ankalaev, the, the first Russian to win tonight against the non Russian. Wow! Oh my god! Third front kick to the face knocked him out! Exciting in a fight, we both kind of stood in, uh, in front of each other, staring at each other, then trade and stop, then trade and stop. I have no idea how the decision is going to go. No idea. For your winner by unanimous decision, Round one over, Ibrahimov looks tired already from all that clinch work, hands on his hips, well they both have hands on his hips, but he already looks tired. Oh! oh. Wow. Very good second round, man. Very good second round. Crowd appreciates it. Very good. Both, both fighters exchanging. Boy, Cadiz Ibrahim just dropped to the floor in his corner, man. He's tired. He's tired. Round three. Here we go. Oh, that was a very, very good fight, man. I have Ed Herman winning all three rounds. He busted up um, Ibrahimov's nose in the first. He landed much more damage in the clinch. Even in the third round where he got taken down, he managed to land a lot of um, elbows from the bottom. More damage. I've got him winning 30-27. Fight of the night so far. Fight of the night so far. What a good fight that was. We'll see how the judges scored it. Totals 30-27, 30-27 and 29-28. All for your winner by unanimous decision. Good head movement. Good head movement. Oh wow! Dan Hot Chocolate Roberts, one punch with 10 seconds to go in the second round, knocked him out. Oh, he's still wobbly. Oh, what a knockout, what a left hand that was. Oh. Volkov takes round one, crisp and striking, more accurate. I think all he has to watch out for, which he is doing, is Greg Hardy's power, one shot knockout power. He's been hit a few times, but not clean. Round two next. Round two done, not the most exciting round, but goes to Volkov due to 
just the accuracy of his strikes landed more. I think he's being very patient, you know, standoffish, very wary of the power of Greg Hardy, but not the most entertaining fight so far. Yeah, that's the third round, that's the fight over. I think Volkov just outpointed him, not the most exciting fight, but Volkov fought technical, avoided getting knocked out. And that was it. Shout out to Greg Hardy for stepping up and taking a step up in competition in two, on two weeks' notice. But Volkov decision on to the main event. Judges' scorecards, all three score it 30 27. Your winner by a unanimous decision from Moscow, Russia, Alexander. Main event time, Calvin Cato looking to shock the Russian crowd here in Moscow. Zabit looking to put a stamp on the featherweight division and cement himself as the number one contender. Here we go. Excellent first round, very even, very good first round that was. Fairly even round again. The big got caught quite a few times coming in. Kato looks like he's trying to time him with that straight right. One, two, straight right down the middle, but not really finding a home for it just yet. Round three on the way. Oh, beautiful, beautiful left hook to the body. No. Oh, Calvin caught him. Calvin caught him. Zabi looks tired. He's hunting him down, man. Oh, that's a lovely liver shot by Calvin Cater. Oh, Zabi caught him with the left hook. Oh, flying knee. Zabi caught it, took him down. Oh. Very good fight, very good main event. I have no idea how the judges scored it. Both men willing to exchange in the pocket. Very, very good main event. See what the judges score it. All right, judges score it 29 28. Your winner by unanimous decision from Dagestan, Russia. UFC Moscow, it's a wrap. Zabit Magomed Sharipov defeats Calvin Keita by decision. How I wish that went five rounds. Zabit, I think, was very smart not to agree to a five round fight because. In that third round, he looked like he was gassing. And Calvin Cater found a home for that right hand quite a few times. Very good, crisp boxing. Both fighters willing to exchange in the pocket. A very, very good main event. But if it went five rounds, I have a feeling Calvin Cater would have stolen the decision or possibly finished the beat, considering how tired the beat looked in that third round. Um, not the best of nights for most of these Russian fighters. Not a lot of them winning. It took a good turn towards the end of the card. But look, where do I start, man? Upset of the night, especially to this Russian crowd, was Abu Bakar Nurmagomedov getting submitted by David Zawada. When he got submitted, the crowd went silent. He got caught in that triangle, tapped out in that first round, and the crowd went absolutely silent. Um, good night of fights for non-Russian fighters like David Grant, um, Roosevelt, Roberts, Carl Robertson submitting Roman Kapilov in the in the third round by rear naked choke. Um, Rustam Habilov uh, grinding that decision. What a very boring fight, in my opinion likes of Ed Herman and Anthony Rocco Martin both of them got both fights were wars but they both came out on top very good fights for both of them especially Ed Herman shout out to him um the most one of the, the most notable knockout of the night had to go to Magomed Ankalaev of uh, knocking out uh, Dalcha Lungiambula oh my lord that front kick to the head was absolutely amazing and he followed it up with a straight right Dan Hot Chocolate Roberts as well with a phenomenal left hook towards the end of that second round, knocking out um, Zelim Imadaev. 
you know, co-main event, Alexander Volkov. Obviously, I think he was just very wary of the power of um, Greg Hardy. So he, he decided to fight technical, use his karate, stay on the outside, just land strikes en route to a decision. Very good night of fights. Not the best that I've been to. The atmosphere wasn't the best either, but it was a good night of fights. I enjoyed it. I've loved Moscow. If you guys enjoyed this, please hit the subscribe button below. Like, share and subscribe. And I will see you guys in London for Bellator later this month. Take care, guys.